also look up to the market down in Andy. When they get back in the afternoon, they buy the food that we don't have it up in the village. For example, they buy some flour, rice, sugar, soft water coats, as you can see, tall hand wash, and kerosene or kerosene lamp at night because we don't have 24 hour electricity up in the village. Like I've said before, we use firewood stove to cook our food. But like I've said, some families here, they have their own family portable generator, which is they only have lights on at night. And we only have little families. We have television reception in their homes. We always fool in the house if there's a rugby seven to yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> church service at 8 a.m. in the morning it's for the Sunday school for the kids 10 a.m. there's another service for all the people in the village and on the weekdays on Tuesday night we have a tribe service Thursday night we have a youth service and on Saturday night we have a choir practice for the Sunday service we have our own church minister he was sent by the Methodist Church of Fiji he'll spend five years with us in the village after that five years he will get transferred and then another new minister will replace him. And Methodist Church in Fiji, we're not allowed to use musical instrument inside our church when we sing, we just use our own voice. It's all a cappella, no musical instruments. That's beautiful. This is our chief's house. Inside this chief's house, there is a middle post. Like back at home, if a person caught did crime, you will report her him to the policeman and we'll take him straight to court. But in our Fijian village, the chief's house act as a courthouse in the village. So if someone caught did crime in the village, the chief will call up the meeting and the whole village will gather together inside this house. They'll call up the person who did crime and he or she will hold the post and give him a stick, a whack from his back. That's the only punishment we give it in the village rather than report it to the policeman. We just solve it here in our village, okay? But not a lot of crime did up here in our village because we all related. We all families. There is not much crime. For serious crime, yes, we do report them down to the policeman, but we never met any serious crime before since the established of this village. But for crime like a youth boys, they caught for smoking marijuana, which is illegal in Fiji, think it's illegal too back at home, we're not allowed that in our community. We're not allowed alcohol to appear in our village. If we want to drink alcohol, we can drink it down in town. When it's over, we can come up in the village. Don't get drunk and come in the village. To get drunk, you stay down in town. When it's over, you can come in the village. Okay? But if you're caught the next day, you'll get a whack inside the chief's house. Okay? And did you know that a chief in Fiji is inherited? We don't vote for the chief in Fiji. Just pass down the family like a royal family back in England. Okay? Normally the firstborn, male or female, he or she will become the next chief in the village. Okay? A woman can be a chief too in Fiji. Right, ladies? <laughs> Minaka. Ciao.